Hello, my name is Adam Elliott and welcome to the i8 Indie Animation DVD compilation, a selection of some of Australia's uh, most eclectic, eccentric and diverse animation. The thing I think that I like the most about animation is that it's a culmination of many of my interests. Um, I love telling a story, I love entertaining an audience, I like moving an audience. Uh, I like to make things with my hands, I like to draw, uh, so it, it, uh, it encompasses a whole lot of my interests uh, in, the, in the one art form. Australian animation uh, has been around as long as cinema has. It's always been there, it's not a new thing. And, you know, it can be argued that there is a distinctive Australian style, and in particular a very distinctive Victorian style of animation. It's only been in the last five years or so that uh, Australian animation has really become um, quite prominent around the world. Um, we've, uh, we've been nominated for an Academy Award th three years in a row. Um, I don't think any other country's re ever really done that. Um, although, you know, Australian animation's always been there. It's always been there since the birth of cinema. But uh, in the last decade, um, independent animation has really um, grown stronger in this country. Of course, there's all the 3D computer-generated films coming out of Hollywood, and uh, they're, they're making hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. But on a smaller level, animation really has, has advanced tremendously in, in the areas of technology. Um, you know, uh, 10 years ago, if you told somebody you're an animator, they mightn't be quite sure what you're talking about, or they sort of link that to, say, Bugs Bunny. Um, but uh, really animation is everywhere now and there's so, so much more opportunity for people who want to be animators. Technology has become more accessible and more economical and so um, kids can get into animation. Kids can now um, do stop motion animation with uh, very cheap equipment. Um, when I was starting out the equipment we needed cost hundreds of thousands of dollars so it was really quite uh, limiting to who, who could be an animator. Uh, but now all you need is a digital camera, a couple of hundred dollars, download some software and, and a computer and, uh, and you can do some very basic animation. And that's great because it means that, uh, that you, you can start animating at a much younger age. And uh, my producer and I get sent uh, DVDs from all over the world of, of, uh, of teenagers and young kids who've animated something. I think the most rewarding part of being an animator is if, well I suppose it is of course when the film's finished and it's up on the, up on the big screen and the audience are, are laughing or being moved or, or being affected in some way, but it's also the process. Um, when I was making my last film, uh, I was all, almost disappointed when it got to the end of the making process because I love going in there every day and I love getting my hands on the plasticine. So I think it's both. It is, it is the final product or result, but it is also the process that I find really rewarding and, uh, and alluring. And I always say alluring because there's something um, about, especially 3D animation, that I find really um, magical and enticing. And there's days where I just, uh, I don't want to leave the studio, you sort of get into this zone. Um, I think it might be because you're playing God, you know, all these little characters are yours and you're controlling them and you're creating their worlds and their environments. So I think it's, uh, you know, you're not being bossed around, uh, you sort of, you're in a lot of control and it's a very controlled space in an animation studio and I think that's part of it. It's very hard to give advice to people who, who aspire to being an animator because animation is so diverse. You know, there's web animation, there's an animation on your mobile phones, there's claymation, CGI animation. Um, it's so broad. Uh, but I think that the main advice is you have to understand that if you want to get into the film industry or be an animator, that it, it is very competitive. Um, because it's such an attractive industry, of course, everybody wants to be in it. Uh, so really you have, to, you have to be prepared, you have to study, you have to read, you have to draw, you have to write, just it, it's, it's all encompassing and uh, I've been an animator now for 10 years and um, 
I don't really have any other hobbies. Um, I really haven't had a holiday in 10 years. Uh, it's because I spend all my time thinking about animating, thinking about my scripts, thinking about how I'm going to storyboard, who's going to be my narrator, all those things. It's a lot of hard work, but the, the, you know, there's no limit. There's no, there's no limit to what you can do or where you can go. Uh, we we uh, on our last film never thought little Harvey Crumpet here was was going to work even when the film was finished, um, and uh, and and Harvey has taken us all around the world and and I've got to meet some amazing people, meet some of some I've met some of the uh, some of the world's most amazing animators, so it really it really can open up your life and um, if I wasn't animating I don't know what I'd be doing. So please enjoy these eclectic Australian brilliant animations. Uh, look at the director's commentaries, uh, interviews with the directors, and uh, bathe yourself in Australia's best independent animation. Uh, not just learn, but also laugh and enjoy these wonderful films.